Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. We're gonna to talk about what men crave and those three things that will bring them closer to you. Okay, before we get started, if my content resonates with you and after this video you go, God, I'd like to talk to this guy, check out the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me to see if working with a coach would be right for you. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and all that other good stuff. Okay, let's talk about those three things that brings a high-quality man closer to you, the things that men crave. And you know what's fascinating to me as a dating coach is, um, let's face it, today, most of the time, people are meeting new people through the internet. The days of meeting organically seems to be gone by the wayside. In other words, there isn't enough, there aren't enough venues to actually connect with people in real life. And so for most of the time, we're seeking connections and we're using the internet with connect with people. And so the first thing I think men look for, high quality men, as well as you know high quality women, is we're looking for someone who radiates energy, that radiates enthusiasm, that radiates that sense of, I've got the world by the tail kind of thing, that radiates that energy from inside of you, that empowered energy. And what's so fascinating to me, and I talked about online dating a second ago, is this is an example of the types of photographs I see on dating sites. And I'm just giving you one example. I could pull up hundreds and probably hundreds, if not thousands more, where women, as well as men, are projecting negativity on their dating profiles. And I'm just not strictly talking about dating profiles, but I suspect if that's what she's willing to put out in the world, and what is she when she's out in the real world? And then some people could say, well, just Jonathan, she's just being silly. That's just being her playful side. But ultimately, I got to tell you, I saw that picture immediately swipe left. Absolute turnoff. There's no radiance there. And sadly, with, especially in the online dating realm, most women are not capturing their inner beauty, that radiance inside of you. And maybe there's a really good reason. Maybe you've been hurt in your past relationships. Maybe you've been frustrated. Maybe you've had betrayal. Something has happened and you don't feel as enthusiastic. But I can tell you something. High quality men that crave that juicy, delicious relationship that we all want are craving a woman who exudes radiance. It comes from within. It's an empowerment with inside. Because the number two reason, or the number two thing we look for is something called sovereignty. And if you're not familiar with the word, do me a favor and Google it. But sovereignty means you are in charge of your own destiny. Uh, this is my version of it anyway. You are in charge of your own life. You don't need anyone else in your life for you to feel good. In other words, you're not operating from the premise of I need you for me to feel good. I feel good in myself and I'm able to express and share that. I'm able to give that out in the world. I am sovereign within myself. And this is really a sign of emotional maturity. And if you haven't watched my videos, definitely check out some of my other videos, wherever they are located here, because I talk about emotional maturity in depth. And we'll talk about it a lot more because this is one of the fundamental pieces of sovereignty. In fact, I brought up the book recently in a video, The Four Agreements, but this being impeccable with your word, um, doing your best, don't care about what others think. And remember that people that project negativity on you is just a projection of them. A sovereign person recognizes that and they don't give their power away. <sighs> don't giving your power away. I, ladies, I see this all too often. I get phone calls scheduling a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me and I'm here to help you Develop, not to develop, but attract that juicy, delicious relationship. And yet many of you are hung up on some guy that you haven't even seen in months, if not years. And all you want to talk about is him and not talk about you. And I don't mean you from the selfish perspective, but from that place of what do I really want in my life? What am I seeking when it comes to love and relationships? And that's my invitation for you to become sovereign, to become power within yourself, to tap in and never give your power away. One of the reasons why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway, is because when we love on our self-love, 
is another word for self-worth, self-respect, self-confidence. And when we love on ourself, when we love on ourself, we become a magnetic attractor. We become something some men, men and women crave. And so now I'm going to give you the third thing, <laughs> the third thing, where is that? Okay, third thing. Um, I think one of the things we crave in relationship is variety. You know, sadly, people get into their ruts. They get stuck in a rut in their life. And myself included, I can be in a, I can get into a rut when I'm by myself. But when I'm in relationship, I'm all about like, tell me what you want to do and let's try new things and let's go to new places. And, you know, even if we're stuck at home, what are new things we can do? Because human beings are craving variety. It's one of the human needs. And what is sexy and turns us on, especially a high quality guy, and what I mean by high quality guy is just that guy that's emotionally mature and ready for a relationship. That's all I mean when I say high quality guy. He's emotionally mature and ready for a relationship. What we want is that spontaneity, that spark, that variety, that kind of let's just, you know, do different things because that's what makes life exciting. And I'm here to not I'm here to encourage you to be a participant in the relationship. Please, please, please don't expect men to lead the relationship process, partly because they're bad at it. But a real partnership is a two way street, two people working together. So take charge of your part of the relationship. Now, I'm not saying do more than him. I'm just saying take charge in doing your fair share in the relationship and allow him to do his fair share in the relationship because ultimately a delicious, juicy relationship is something that makes us feel good when we go to bed at night. It's what we're all craving. And so that's my invitation for you. So those three things, radiance, sovereignty, and variety. And that's just three things. I mean, there's probably hundreds of things we can come up with, but I thought I'd share that for this video for you today. Again, if you find value in this, please post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. If this resonated with you, if there's some, if there's 10 more things you want to add, please write them down. I'd be excited to read what you have to say. Again, um, if you're interested in uh, talking to me, but you can't afford private coaching, there's a link to a group called Midlife Love Mastery. I want you to check that out because you might find value in that. And I'm going to sign off this video as I always do, giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Oh, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.